Hello and welcome. One of my subscribers asked me to record and talk about a version of a song called The Nearness of You. It's a great standard written by Hoagy Carmichael, a ballad. And you know who you are, so I decided to do a version of this song using a lot of the specific techniques that I have talked about and, and covered in previous videos. Techniques such as the spread voicings, the arpeggiated uh, left hand chords, rootless voicings, locked hand technique, the drop two voicings, and fourth voicings. So I'm putting all of these into this specific arrangement, and this will be available to you on my website for free to download. So after I play it once through, I'll talk about the various techniques that I'm using and illustrate them as I go along. So here we go with The Nearness of You. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the analysis of what I just played, and this is kind of complicated, so um, I hope I can cover most of it, but if I don't have enough time, then we'll just have to split it into two versions. But I'm starting out with an introduction, which is just three measures, and what it is, it's setting up the, uh, we're in the key of F major, okay, so we're in one flat, so I'm setting up with an introduction like this. This is an F chord with an A in the bass, then I go up a half step, in the melody and down a half step, contrary motion, to a D flat chord, and uh, with an A A flat in the in the bass, and a D flat in the melody, up to a G minor 11 chord, and then then this C7 flat nine. That just sort of sets up the first chord of the melody, which is um, F major seven. But there's a lead in. There's pickups. They go like this. Now there I have a kind of like you'd call it a drop too because it's like the chord might be this if you played it in a voicing inverted so it's a G7 C7 of oh, 251 into F and but it's a it's a drop too so you see that it has a unique sound to it it's a very pretty sound the drop too then I put the I put the uh, pedal tone of the C down there and then I I keep that drop two voicing going through this to the, now this is the five chord, but in minor, minor seven into the four chord. Then I go to the four chord, which is B flat major, but I put an F in the bass, so I have this, it's like a pedal tone effect. And then now I have an arpeggiated movement in the left hand. And then I go to this D flat diminished chord, but I'm keeping that arpeggiated movement here. So I have like a B flat here to a D flat diminished there. 
to the three chord, which is A minor seven, down a half step to A flat seven or nine, A flat nine. Now I have this, what you would call a, a locked hands approach with this melody here. That's, that's locked hands because I'm doubling the melody note like that and I'm putting the chord in here with the melody doubled with the left hand and a diminished chord there diminished chord there now the three chord now I have this melodic line in the left hand and the, the progression is A minor 7 to A flat 9 and then I have a another um, would you call it drop 2 progression this so it goes like this so that's a melodic line filling in on the left hand then I have this that's a drop two now see it okay sorry like about this. the interruption but my card ran out of space so I had to add another card but now we're going from the three chord to a flat three with a melodic line in the left hand so that that's an interesting thing to try to do is to fill in with a melody in the left hand. Now we have this drop to passage. So the melody's da 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 da. That's a little fill in melody, but now I'm harmonizing in such a way that it's drop two. Now the, what that means is if I took the chord, it's G minor seven, and if I just played that F sharp diminished to a C seven, like the two five one, two five really going back to F. So I have this. So now I'm taking that note here and putting it down in the left hand so it has a very pretty sound like that so again now the melody again now I'm doing this arpeggiated movement again motion in the left hand there's a diminished chord there now these are basically spread uh, voicings with uh, you know some uh, minor seconds in the, in the right hand. Now here's a, this is a substitute chord. It's an E flat 9 sharp 11. Now I go to the B, four, B flat chord but I'm playing it with the third in the bass which leads me to the D flat diminished chord again. Now here's a substitute chord. Now that's a diminished chord. It's an A flat diminished leading me to the three chord which is a minor seven so I have this three chord now I go to hat down a half step then down to a D flat major seven so there's another what I would call substitute chord to a five now we have an ascending line here and I voiced it like this with chords so that's your melody da, 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 de, da, da, da. so I have it da, da, da a diminished chord there and then a C sus to the one and then this is a kind of a cadence cadence what I would call like a one to a flat seven now we have I now I have a moving into the bridge we're gonna continue now with the bridge okay, okay. I hope you're still with me this, this is a little complicated but now going into the bridge so I have this da, 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 that's the melody so I'm gonna harmonize it with an contrary line in the left hand on the bass notes like this da, 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 da. this makes a lot of sense just to move in that way to get to the G minor so I'm going to the the G minor 7 is the 2 chord of the key so I'm moving to the 2 like this now I fill in the harmony like this that's a diminished chord which works works perfectly there the two chord. Now here's a tritone substitute, taking me to a, the five, but it's you know it, with a suspended fourth. Now here is um, you could call this a uh, locked hands because I'm doubling the melody with with in the thumb here. Now that's the that's the the uh, one chord. Um, we're in key of F, but I've got an augmented fifth in it. Like it's it's very nice sound. So it's a like a it's a two five one and back to the one G G minor seven C seven to one. Okay, so that's five minor. And then I'm now I have these fourth voicings here. That's 
I don't want to go into that too much, but those are fourth voicings. Now I have the, there's the four chord, feel in the, now this goes up a half step to a two five into A minor, which is the three chord. Now this is a, uh, that's an interesting chord. It's a D seven with a sharp nine to a G nine sus, then a run to the five chord right now. Back to one now, this is just repeating. Now here's a tritone substitute there, the B9 chord going to the four chord, the B flat major seven. More arpeggiated movement in the left hand. Sorry, that's a D flat diminished again. Three chord down a half step. Tritone substitute there, we'll talk about that later. Passing chord, which is a tritone substitute. Now there's the three chord, but it's in, now it's in half diminished quality, which has the minor flat five, A minor seven flat five, and then a tritone to a, there's the D nine sus chord. Now here you have again another drop two voicing. That's a very pretty sound, like that. And then to the two chord, but I make it huge, like with an 11th here. There's a lot of meat to that, or it's a very gutsy sound. There's a lot of harmony in there. I have like a root, fifth, tenth, right? There's the eleventh, and then the fifth, the seventh, ninth. I have to roll it. And then the five chord, but like this. So you get a little bit of uh, mo contrary mo motion there. Descending in the left hand, ascending in the right, like it, like that, filling in the harmonies. And then I go to a deceptive cadence, which, which goes to D flat, half step above the fifth, to G flat, half step above the root, and resolving it to the F. Okay, we'll wrap up now. Okay, in wrapping up, I just wanted to thank the subscriber who asked me to play this song for you and I want to thank all my subscribers and I hope this wasn't too confusing I know I had to go fairly rapidly I didn't want this video to take 20 minutes so if you'd like me to slow it down and talk about more of the techniques later on I'd be happy to do that or ask me a question give me a thumbs up if you liked it you can go to my website download the score and look at everything that I played because it's all there so that's one thing I offer to you. And please keep listening and let me know what you like to hear. So thanks for listening and watching, and I'll see you next time around. Take care. Bye-bye.